This is going to be a series of individual videos on testing of many do-it-yourself alcohol stoves that I built out of small clear lid, clear lid containers. Cost anywhere from a dollar to two dollars each. I built a couple stainless steels around seven dollars each. This introduction part of the video will be included at the beginning of each stove video burn test. So skip ahead a little bit if you have already watched this portion of the video and want to get right to the burn testing. Each stove and video will be numbered and tested. Go to video number one if you want a basic description of the many stoves. I'll try to put all the specs in the description box of the video. Uh, what I'm going to test is the warm up time, boil time, burnout time, water temperature, and surrounding air temperature. I'll also include the alcohol capacity of each stove, the size of the stove, and the various materials used such as tin, aluminum, stainless steel. There will be a jet type, a wick type using carbon felt right here. Uh, and that will be to compare the different designs and materials. Each test will be done with the same aluminum pot. It has a 5 inch diameter bottom. I bought it at Walmart for a couple bucks. Um, well, I'll be using tap water. It's around 60 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees Two cups of water and there will be a couple tests that I'll use four and six cups of water Surrounding air temperature is in my garage. It's winter time in Iowa, but my garage is around 40 degrees So it's a little cool uh, My water temperature thermometer is about Five degrees low so keep that in mind and all the specs that I'm doing here is is not exact it'll be approximately I have some extra materials to build other stoves so if you have any suggestions or want me to try something different please let me know and I'll do it let's get started with the testing okay we're on do-it-yourself alcohol stove number five this is going to be a different material than one through four. These are favor tins. Again, these are at Hobby Lobby. They're a little cheaper, four bucks for eight. Um, on this particular, here's the stove. The bottom is metal. The inside is a tomato paste can. You can use a can opener. Can opener. To cut the top off so you have a nice round sturdy top pot holder um, these come with lids but this obviously won't have the lid this is a wick type and the wick is a carbon felt it's a ote flame protector it's called it comes in a small sheet you can split that sheet in half after you cut it to the right heights to fit inside this bottom here place your liner around and then put your tomato paste can in of course you'll have to cut the height and this is one inch from the top to the top of the can so let's get this test going with all of these type stoves on the bottom you're going to have to cut about four slits there there would be the bottom that sits inside then this is the top that goes down the center but so uh, you can allow the alcohol to run in between the walls and soak up into the wick or the jets okay let's light her up again this is a wick type stove we're using three quarters of an ounce of denatured alcohol. You won't have to let this one warm up. You can set your pot right on. We got two cups of water. It's 
right around 60 degrees plus or minus six ah that starter got a little late start there this is kind of what the tin looks like has a clear plastic lid and I'm just using the bottom with a tomato paste can in the center and then of course your carbon felt wrapped around the outside of the bottom of the can like this now with this carbon felt what I found it's pretty thick so you can take after you cut it and pull it apart right down the center like that so then you'll have two pieces to make two stoves. It de depends on the width of the inner wall but okay we're up to 88 degrees. We got about one minute. We'll come back in when it's at five minutes. See how it's going. The air temperatures around 38 degrees today it's a little cooler out today so keep that in mind okay it's been a little over four minutes the water's starting to hiss already these are burning a little hotter we're up to 183 four minutes about 30 seconds these are gonna boil our water a lot quicker I think but they'll probably burn out faster. Uh, this stove weighs about one ounce. Go to the details and I'll put all the specs for all of these stoves down if you want more detailed information. We're at 198. It boils at about 205. Actual boiling is 212 it looks like it's boiling already it's steaming up really well nope not boiling yet so we're at 205 it should be boiling and it is boiling 205 at five minutes and about five minutes it looks like we'll see what the burnout time is The capacity of this, you could put up to uh, at least an ounce and a half in this so you can cook a lot longer or boil a lot longer if you put more alcohol in. This is just three quarters of an ounce of denatured alcohol. Let's get rid of this noisy thing. About five minutes to boil. And this will be, this whole stove is made out of tin. The bottom's tin. One through four was aluminum. Five will be tin with a tin tomato paste can in the center. So we're at 618. It's dying down a little bit, still boiling. Still sizzling. Flames really dying down. Looks like it's going to be around seven minutes to burn out, but it's still going pretty good. Let's see if it's boiling still. Still, it's still boiling. Temperature says it's 210, but I'm not sure if that's right. It's out. Seven minutes and 15 seconds. Seven minutes, 15 seconds. 
Oh, that's do-it-yourself stove number five. Thanks for watching.